This can't be possible. I can't be married to a prostitute. Where will you two be going on your scummy moon? And can I plan your bridal golden shower? I don't even know your name. It's Charmise. Perfect. Listen, Charmise, I was obviously very, very drunk. This whole thing is a huge mistake, and we gotta fix this right away. Like hell we do, sweet cream. This is just what I've always wanted, to settle down, find a husband, and live the married life. And now, I got that. Your new wife is a human toilet. Look, I don't remember anything about last night. How do I, how do I even know we're really married? I got a marriage certificate right here. It's legit. And it looks like I signed one of the witness lines and Peter partially signed the other. Heh, <laughs> Joe, look. You know, after 40 years in my line of work, I've learned the difference between true love and doing the entire bowling team of a pizza restaurant on a box spring by a brook. This is true love. Hey, what's our last name again? <laughs> You know, Quagmire, I was thinking last night, I might remember Charmise from a stag party in 1991. Ask her if she remembers getting hit in the forehead with a meatball sandwich. You guys, I can't stay married to her. This whole thing is a complete disaster. In fact, you know what? I gotta go down to the courthouse right now and file for divorce. This thing ends now. Hang on, Quagmire. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Quahog has some extremely draconian laws governing divorce that all heavily favor the woman. What? What do you mean? Well, to be honest, if you divorce her, she'll probably get everything you have. What? Oh, that's impossible. I can't lose all my money in my house. And then I'll have to move into some depressing divorced guy apartment. As you can see, we have plenty of cabinet space for your plate. The oven, of course, is just decorative. Uh, seems okay. Do you have any other units available? This is our only one. I hope you're happy, Masha! We might have something upstairs. Sorry, Quagmire, but the only way around the law is if the woman consents to a divorce. Consent? But Charmise will never agree to that. You heard her. The crazy skank wants to be a wife. She's found herself a husband, and she's not letting go. I bet she's what happens if you put a Hooters girl in the microwave on high. Well, the only other choice is to let her take all your money. Uh, well, I obviously can't do that. Guess I'm just gonna have to suck it up. Let her suck it up. She's the expert. Sorry, keep going. And at least try to make things work with Charmise. Who knows? Maybe, maybe it won't be that bad. After all, I liked her enough to marry her last night. I must have seen something in her. There you go. That's the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy. I love you, Andy. Come on, guys. Fight. So, Doc, I figured if Charmise and I are going to live as man and wife, I ought to get her checked out. Of course. Charmise, when's the last time you had a pelvic exam? When was the Missouri Compromise? Uh, I think 1821. Then I've never had a pelvic exam. All right, I'm going in. If I tug on the rope twice, that means pull me out. God, who are the pigs who just throw their empty beer cans down here? Hey, Charmise, you know, I really love your clothes. I found a lot of them on strung-out teenage corpses. That's so lovely, but I was thinking maybe this afternoon you'd like to borrow my credit card and buy yourself a new wardrobe. You know, something a little more conservative. Really? That's so sweet, Glenn. No one's ever cared about me like that before. Thank you. Oh.